know, I often joke about tensions between me and the press, but uh, honestly, what they say doesn't bother me. I understand we've got an adversarial system. I'm a mellow sort of guy. And that's why I invited Luther, my anger translator, to join me here tonight. In our fast-changing world, traditions like the White House Correspondents' Dinner are important. I mean, really? What is this dinner? And why am I required to come to it? Jeb Bush, do you really want to do this? Because despite our differences, we count on the press to shed light on the most important issues of the day. And we can count on Fox News to terrify old white people with some nonsense. Sharia law is coming to Cleveland, run for the damn hills! Y'all was ridiculous. We won't always see eye to eye. Oh, and CNN, thank you so much for the wall-to-wall -wall Ebola coverage. For two whole weeks, we were one step away from the walking dead. And then y'all got up and just moved on to the next day. That was awesome. Oh, and by the way, just if you haven't noticed, you don't have Ebola! But I still deeply appreciate the work that you do. Y'all remember when I had that big old hole in the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, and then I plugged it? Remember that? Which Obama's Katrina was that one? Was, it, was that 19, or was it, what, what, was it 20? Because I came around, I can't remember. Protecting our democracy is more important than ever. For example, the Supreme Court ruled that the donor who gave Ted Cruz six million dollars was just exercising free speech. Yeah, it's the kind of speech like this. I just wasted six million dollars. <laughs> and it's not just Republicans. Hillary will have to raise huge sums of money too. Oh yeah. <laughs> she gonna get that money. She gonna get all, all the money. Khaleesi is coming to Westeros. <laughs> Watch out! Woo! The nonstop focus on billionaire donors creates real problems for our democracy. And that's why we running for a third term! No, 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 we're not. We're not? No. Who the hell said that? <laughs> but we do need to stay focused on some big challenges, like climate change. Hey, listen, y'all, if you haven't noticed, California is bone dry. It looked like a trailer for the new Mad Max movie up in there. <laughs> Y'all think that Bradley Cooper came here because he wants to talk to Chuck Todd? <laughs> he needed a glass of water! <laughs> Come on! The science is clear. The science is clear. Nine out of the ten hottest years ever came in the last decade. Now, I'm not a scientist, but I do know how to count to ten. Rising seas, more violent storms. You got mosquitoes, sweaty people on the train, stinking it up. It's just nasty. I mean, look at, us what, who, look at what's happening right now. Every serious scientist says we need to act. The Pentagon says it's a national security risk. Miami floods on a sunny day, and instead of doing anything about it, we've got elected officials throwing snowballs in the Senate. Okay, okay, Mr. A, okay I, I think I got it, bro. I, it is crazy. <laughs> what about our kids? Okay, what kind of stupid, short-sighted, irresponsible bull? Whoa, 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 hey! What? what? Okay, no, hey. What? Okay, oh. All, all due respect, sir, you don't need an anger translator. You need counseling. So now I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, man. I ain't trying to get into all this. 